And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're at the World Renowned Burke Hospital in White Plains, which is uh, so well known for rehabilitating patients uh, from so many injuries. We have a chance to talk with Daryl Music of Exobionics, who's here uh, from California, actually, today, and uh, was demonstrating a piece of equipment. Daryl, good to see you. Hey, thanks for having me, Ken. My pleasure, and Daryl, uh, you're with a company, Exobionics, and you are uh, providing a, a very valuable piece of equipment to people uh, rehabilitating from spinal injuries and strokes called an, a robotic exoskeleton. Maybe just tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'm here to uh, help the physical therapist here at the hospital uh, learn how to operate the device correctly. So uh, I'm here to uh, review some of the techniques and make sure that they're using the device the w as well as they can to help the patient uh, benefit as most uh, appropriately. Absolutely, and obviously in, uh, in our general fields, you know, we cover a lot of veterans and a lot of those injured through military situations, also some, some sports injuries as well. And this device has the ability to help someone uh, learn to regain their, their walking skills. And we just see it having so much uh, potential. Just tell us a little bit about how this developed. I understand the military uh, research uh, was uh, part of the origination. Yeah, Ken, in the original part of the company when it was founded, they, uh, we received money to develop a device for soldiers that were uh, going to carry heavy loads. So the original part of the, uh, the device came from what we call Hulk, the Human Universal Load Carrier, and it's designed to help soldiers carry up to 200 pounds and go further and faster than they would normally. We've rolled that into the medical device now, and now we're able to use a slightly different platform, uh, and we're helping patients that are unable to walk um, because of weakness, stroke, brain injury, spinal cord injury, and we're able to help them uh, walk again, sometimes for the very first time. Absolutely, and we've got a little bit of a, of a demonstration of the equipment with a patient here at Burke Hospital. It's remarkable to see the exoskeleton uh, helping a patient uh, uh, today. Uh, we just see it. Uh, you know, I, I saw the capability. We have some some personal uh, friends who we've seen from the military uh, who have had serious injuries. Uh, right now, I, I understand the equipment is basically for those who still have uh, some ability to walk but need to improve, and the equipment can change how much support that it gives to the patient as they're improving. Yeah, very well, very well done. Yeah, the device can, uh, with what we call variable assist, it has the ability to provide the maximum amount of power for somebody that is unable to walk. So we can take somebody with zero ability and get them walking uh, maybe their very first steps. And then we can self-adjust or the, we can manually adjust it to have the device do less and less as the patient provides more and more input. So the, as the patient takes over the walking ability, then the device will do less and, and helps them just finish what they're unable to do. Hey, got to ask you, we were introduced to your company by uh, a marketing partner, a global communications firm, Vodafone, and I understand that they do some work, they contribute to the project by being able to help, you know, it's kind of an Internet of Things application, but they're able to help gather information about how the patients are progressing and using the equipment. Maybe just tell, tell us about Vodafone's contribution. Yeah, that's, Vodafone is our connectivity partner, and the, the device is able to gather a lot of information and data, and it streams that data to headquarters. And we're able to uh, look at the health of the device, we're able to see how the patient is interacting with it, uh, and give the clinician some feedback and information that they might want for graphing purposes or reimbursement purposes. Absolutely. And I uh, just want to ask you, I know you've got a long uh, career in physical therapy. Uh, you worked actually with uh, my brother-in-law, Gail Whiteneck, out at Craig Hospital, and, and you've uh, studied out in California. Maybe just tell us a little bit about your career. Well, I've spent a long time in the field of spinal cord injury rehabilitation. So I started in 91 at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center and had the opportunity in 2005 to go to Craig Hospital and be the director of physical therapy at Craig Hospital. I was able to work closely with Dr. Whiteneck and many other uh, excellent uh, people in the field of spinal cord injury. Uh, following that, in 2010, I had the chance to work with Exobionics, and uh, now I'm the Vice President of Clinical Services and able to, do, to help develop this technology that's going to go on to help uh, a lot of people. 
Well, you know, when I, I've seen it and, and just being able to see it today, uh, there's so much potential in what you're doing, and you know that it's only going to get better. Right now, I guess it's just for use in hospitals, but uh, I guess uh, in, not, in the not-too-distant future, you're going to be able to uh, 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 apply the technology to a wider range of patients. Where do you see the future of this exoskeleton capability? Yeah, you're correct, Ken. Uh, right now we are working with phys clinicians in hospital settings, so we're looking to reach as many, <coughs> pardon me, as many patients as we can with spinal cord injury and uh, that have had st uh, a stroke. But we are actively developing the device to get both better for clinicians in the hospital setting, and, and then we're working to get a device that can go home and help patients that are unable to recover walking, but they need a device to get around in their home. So that's the direction that we'll be going. Absolutely, Daryl. Music uh, uh, of Exobionics, uh, great to see you. Thank you for the chance to see the demonstration, and uh, we'd love to follow up and see uh, how you're progressing with this, uh, with this very important capability. That's great. Thank you very much for having me, Ken. Thank you so much. This is Ken Kreitzer for CBSI Services and Sons of the American Legion Radio at Burke Hospital in White Plains, New York.